podcast is about my seven years old of the World Yaku Strange Presenter. I'm here today with another beautiful Scratch game. Its name is Witcher Town. After, you know, how can you make a Witcher Town? You can make your own Witcher game, Witcher story, anything you like. Then, let's just get into it. Let me share my screen. And now we are here in Scratch. And we got uh, Scratch. You know what? We're, I'm going to take Scratchy this time. Okay, he will be delighted. So I'm just going to get his size to 30. No, 39. Oops. I, well, 30 and 9. Oh, that's really small. I'm going to go like 70. Yeah, that's going to be good because, you know, it's not going to be. So let's just take three when space clicked out. You can just duplicate them. And then we can just change them to up arrow key, down arrow key, right arrow key, and left arrow key. Looks neat. Now, if we click right arrow key, left arrow key, or up arrow key, you can see the green flag. We don't need to just click on the green flag. It just goes off. You can hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, can you hear the sound of my keyboard? Let's see. I'm just pressing it once and yeah, it's going. Okay, now we need a move block. Move 10 steps, makes a move there. So right, and if we duplicate this and write minus 10, and now we need to click this, oops. Now click this. Right arrow key, left arrow key. It just goes good. Yeah. And up arrow key, down arrow key, we get change y by 10 when up arrow key pressed. And change y by negative 10 when down arrow key pressed. So now we have a whole character that can move everywhere you want. Look, I can hit and Hold it down, all of these keys. And if you hold up and left, it goes in a diagonal way. Look, look it's in a diagonal way. But do you see something? It just goes right above there. We don't want that to happen, you know? So that's why we should do one green flag click go down forever if what do we do if touching mouse button no if touching edge what should we do hmm we should go back so move like three steps now let's check it out there we go we're going Now, I do see that if we actually go one time, though that happens. And we don't want that to happen, right? Because, look, we actually don't want this to happen. Because if we, this good looks good. If it touch one time or one, but that is actually pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool that it's actually wearing up. But we don't want that to happen. But we do have this, what we call this, the, this. So, it's okay. We are going to cover these later. Now, for now, let's just move on. So, let's make the backdrop. Paint. Let's paint a backdrop. I just did it the first time. We are going to take a green color. Or oh, this green looks very good. So I'm gonna just do this. And now let's just draw a square. Yeah, that looks like grass. And let this go in the paint brush. Go up to like 100. Yeah, wait, and 100. And then let's do it to brown. And here's a good trick of making brown. Just go into orange. And then brightness, just dark it down, and that looks good. So let's just make a path. And let's just make it bigger. That's not that big. 
And you can put anything on this path. I am gonna make a bench, but I'm gonna make that later. You and uh, also a reminder, you need a bench as a, a bench as a sprite. So yeah, let's go again go with the backdrop and a new backdrop. We take the same green by sorry. We take the same green by eye dropping it. Oops, I did the uh, this, yeah. So let's just select this one first. I delete it and now let's take this one. Actually, it's square. Yeah, that's good. Now we want to make a house. It's your own thing you want to make a house or not, but I want to make a house. Let's just wait. Why are we still clicked in here? Okay, now go in the fill color and make a gray color. How can you make a gray? If you did the saturation a little down, see if you did the saturation there and the brightness, you can make gray. So let's just do this. Oops, I forgot. I need a, a sprite. Why do I need a sprite? I'll tell you that later because that's a surprise. Let's paint a sprite. Nope, I need to paint a sprite. Paint sprite and it should be a house yeah so one oops one gray rectangle now are you like wait house has a triangle shape i'm gonna tell you how so we just do this one there and yeah and then the last thing we're gonna do is like make a door yeah i'm gonna make the door gray too looks good doesn't it so that's how you make a house pretty simple i'm just gonna put it here okay now i also want to make a lake so let's also paint a sprite and let's make a lake let's go in the brush tool if you already know and let's just take a blue color on uh, nice and blue light blue yeah 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 that's good so now i'm gonna just make a, this at a drop of there and uh, there just color it color it color it and just to make a circle Color it inside. Okay, it just color scratchy. Okay, so uh, should I make it a little bigger? Yeah, I'm gonna make it a little bigger. Yeah, that looks good, but it is pretty, you know. I'm just big, so I'm just gonna color it at the lake. And now let's go into the backdrops. And now let's make a pot. Here we go. And uh, let's just make a brown. Go in orange and make brown. So, yeah. Now, let's make a path that goes slightly between the house and the lake. So, let's just carefully just go down the path. Hopefully, it does not go into the... Yeah, that's... Oh, I'm just going to move it here. Okay, not bad. Uh, let's just take this. And do a little strip line. Uh, this can be really tough because lake is also there. So, okay, now that looks like a good one. Now the third and last one is gonna be a zoo. Yeah, I'm not joking. It's a zoo. <laughs> so let's paint, and we need the same green. Let's go in this and drop our. And why am I doing the same green over and over? Because we need everybody like, wait, we are in a different land. This is dark green, that's light green, this is you know, peaches green. So that's why we're taking the same green over and over. So now we have to make a zoo. So we need to make cages. I can't make you know this because if I get it, we can just get into them. If you do back, not touch back to a tree, then it's gonna get all messy because if you even touch the ground, it's gonna be. So we need a sprite. So if we touch the cage, then we are just um, the scratchy will say like, oh no, we can't touch the cage. There are a lot of animals inside. So let's make a cage. 
First, I will take this blue uh, black outline. Sorry. Hey, get that up. Uh, 21. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a near that. Go down that. That's a good one. So let's just get her to the side a little bit. Oops. So we just have to back, back, back. And now let's make one here. So that still does not do. I don't know that. So let's back again and let's just do the whole side. Okay, that little is fine. So I'm just gonna get another back and how much that big of a cage. Yeah, that big of a cage is fine. So we then like make a straight line. Get to the side, go up. You know what? It's fine. So, oops, I didn't want it to draw it. So, let's just, you know, yeah. Now, let's make cages. First one, I want to put a dinosaur. I'm not, I'm serious. I'm serious. So, let's just make a big cage. Second, I want to, bruh. Okay, there's a lot of little space. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm not gonna put a dinosaur. Uh, I'm gonna make a, one of them real small. So let's make a small cage. Yeah, I'm gonna make a small cage. So there. Yeah, that's good. So now let's do this. That, you know, we're in the cage sprite. So that's why you look what I have to do. Now here I'm gonna do this. You know that this is a one flag click. No, there also a backdrop too. Backdrop too. Let's just duplicate all of this. Show in backdrop three. Dot show in backdrop two and one. Sorry, one. So now how can we do this? One is backdrop one. Hide. Backdrop two, hide backdrop three, show okay, and then we have to put in this the same thing but a little change. Backdrop two, show backdrop one, dot show, and backdrop uh, three, hide. Uh, sorry, backdrop two, show backdrop one, don't show, and backdrop three, don't show. So what it's backdrop three, hide, backdrop two, show, and backdrop one, hide. I mistakenly just, now you can see. If we just put this on, wait, we can't go to the next level. I'm going to tell you what to do. If you can't go to the next level, we are going to discover that in one tiny little bit, second. So I'm just going to do, uh, this, this, and this. There we go. The same thing is in here. So now what we want to do? Hmm. We are going to do this. We are going to put animals in the kids later. Right now, we need to go in another backdrop over and over. So how can we do that? In a backdrop, another backdrop, another backdrop, another backdrop. Let's go in sprites and you might have an arrow over here. Yeah, arrow. And let's put it here. And one sprite clicked. I even use this on my, um, you know, clicker game. One sprite click. What should we do? We should switch backdrop to next backdrop. And let's duplicate this. Put it over here. Delete all of this. Sorry. Costumes. Delete this one. This one, this one, and if sprite clicked, what do you want it to do? Go to previous backdrop. And if we click this next backdrop, and let me just delete all of the costumes except for this one. Now let's check. Look, we are in this one, and we are, I'm just suppressing my keys. Uh, there we go, we're going. 
And we're going to click that. Oh, we're in the next backdrop. And we only see this one in this backdrop. Look, I'm going to go in the first backdrop. The second. Oh, this is so man. Yes, it's so good. And yeah, you can just keep playing with this. But the moment I see this, you can walk in the water. What? Who wants to walk in a puddle? So that's why we have to do something that does not make us walk in the water. Yeah, you're not going to walk in the water. Instead of taking the edge, now we are going to let the edge. If you touch the edge, it's fine. So let's see. put this aside. If touching, we need, which one is the, yeah, it's Spire Sprite 3. Sprite 3 is the link. If that's Sprite 3, then say, I can't, oops, I can't swim. So that's why what I have to say. I, wait, caps lock, I can't. Swim. I can't swim. Now let's check if it happens. We're going and I can't swim. But if you can't swim, scratch Kathy, why are you going in the water, huh? That's why we want to do like when you touch it, then you go back. So that's the same thing that when you touch one. When you touch, then we don't. So there we go. There we are. And we want to take. When I touch, then I go, I move, I, you know, go back, go to the X position and Y position of here. X and Y position of foot. Now, let's see. We are in here and we are going, we are going, we are going. Mm, uh, scratch Katy wants to swim. Now you see, we stay in the water for some while. So that's why it's wait two seconds. That's why. So we just take all of this out and takes say, say, don't wait any second. Let's say, I can't swim. I can't swim. Now, let's do it. So, Scratch Cat is adventuring. He sees a house. He sees a lake. He wants to go in the lake. And let's see. I'm just going to a little bit of touch it. I can swim. Oh, that, that's his like a rattle ball. Look, <laughs> I, okay, so he can't swim. That's, we know that. But the thing is, it's always going, yeah. So we don't need that to happen. We need a wait two seconds. We're gonna do that. But there's another thing. If you're having this glitch, maybe you don't, maybe you can. Then I, I, C A A D can't swim. If this is happening with you, you know, put this go to X Y above. You. So that's why that's gonna make the cat go. I can't swim, and now it's finished. I can swim. So that's what it does. Now, if we go ahead. Here, we're going to do the same thing, but more different. If touching Sprite 4, what should we do? Hmm. Now, if touching Sprite 4, we come back here. Here. And what should we say? Hmm. I say... That that 
is. Oh, you know what? Let's not set anything. Now just check. And gonna go. Can't go. Can't go. Bang and racket said. <laughs> okay, so that's how you can do and you can just go back, back, back. Oh wait, he, yeah, he can't swim. I didn't remember. Yeah, the it's it's pretty. And if you even got this glitch, you know what the problem is? That it's not going good. So it's not refreshing every time. So we get this, make a new loop. And now look how long I go inside. It's gonna do the red ball thing. I go uh, over here, over here, and now let's see if we go back, back. Still, now that's what you can do, and you know, that's how you go. But now is for the fun part: putting animals in here. So let's just go ahead into the zoo. Yeah, there we go. So what should we do? Which animal should we put in the zoo? I said I want dinosaur. Maybe a dragon? Or a dinosaur or a dragon? I don't know. Hmm. A dinosaur. I, I'm going to just depend on the costumes. Because I need a costume, you know, it has, it needs a costume, or I'm not gonna, you know, do it. So, I need a costume, a costume, this has a costume, this has a costume, this has a raw costume. This dinosaur is pretty small, I'm not gonna lie. So, I don't need this small dinosaur, I need a big dinosaur. I don't need to paint the wizard. So let's just take another one. Which one was there? Uh, we even got a puppy, dog, dog, driver. Mm, these two. Hmm, 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 hmm. I'm going to take this one. So this one is big and it has costume. So yeah. And we need the same thing of this. So let me just move it. We need the same thing. There. 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 And what do you want? If the sprite is clicked. When the sprite is clicked. Then change costume. Next costume. Yeah. Now let's check. There we go. Scratch carry. He likes this a lot. Okay, seriously. Let me hear it. Hey. Huh? Go back. Go back. So that's how you can make a virtual town. Uh, I can't put more. It's going to take a lot of time. But the last thing you can do is, if you want, that... If Sprite click, this is the last thing I'm going to do and then we're going to just end this video. So if Sprite clicked, when Sprite clicked, what do we want to do? Hmm. We have to change the back door, oh, sorry, the costume, we make a new costume name. Home, and now we can just put some things at home, yeah. Let's just make a big black. Black, black, black. Wait, we also actually don't need this. We need there. Wait, wait, there. We need a costume of the home. The costume of the home is gonna, you know, let's just get out a little bit and let's delete the whole thing and let's put a black, green, or black, 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 black backdrop. And now let's just make it whole black and. We should just that's it. So when sprites click, change to next costume. This is the thing that you can do and go. Uh, we're in our home right now. Bam, we're out, in, out. 
So that's how you can make a widget town. And you can put any, a lot of pets that you want. Like you can put more pets. I'm gonna put more pets, but that's gonna take a lot of time. So yeah, and I can't wait to see which games do you make? Which games are you gonna make? I'm so excited to see. You can make anything you want. This is just an example. And for now on, scratch on. Bye.